Go, Ben. So, my specialism uh, is documentary filmmaking. Uh, so this is a bit wordy, but I'll, I'll sum up. So generally, I think everyone really loves a good documentary, and I think it'd be really nice to make something that people would share and learn from and find interesting themselves, and sort of teach people about various things. Even in just sort of a little five minute slot would be really nice. Go to the next slide please, Josh. So, uh, a documentary film I've got looked at is Nick Greenfield. Um, he's done stuff like uh, Kurt and Courtney, the Kurt Cobain film, and Eileen, which was one of America's worst female serial killers. Um, a bit dark, but uh, his sort of philosophy when it comes to filmmaking is the idea of don't just focus on the subject, make a film about the film in of itself. So, how did you get? Uh, there was a talk he did at Sheffield Doc Fest where he said it's not just the subject in the chair, but what are the steps to get the subject into the chair? So, I thought generally his idea of giving the audience that bit of extra material and extra information behind just the interview is really nice for capturing what a person's really like, not just the standard, this is how they're interviewing. Do you want to take an example, Josh? So, Screen Test is the festival I want to enter. Um, generally the films are below 20 minutes, so it's nice and, and short, everything's free. Um, and to be able to enter something that's for students takes a lot of weight off competing against industry professionals who have been doing this for a, for a lot longer. Go to the next slide, please. Their philosophy is to help students, you know, to help student filmmakers get better, show their films, take them out to an audience, and sort of help them create better films, become better filmmakers, and introduce them to the industry, and sort of help them get along as much as they can. So the entry requirements are pretty simple. So, 20 minutes maximum runtime. There's no cost, as I said. Uh, you must be a student in higher education, but if you had a film that you made while in higher education, be that sixth form, college, university, you can enter that film. Um, and there's 16 genres altogether, one of which is documentary, which is helpful for me. And they like really short films because it's easy to put it in. And they generally take about 100 films from 300 submissions on average. Uh, and submitted by December 14th, which is really nice when it comes to the assignment, because by the time we finish, it's just about the time to submit. So the audience, uh, you can sort of assume if it's student-based, that that's mostly young filmmakers and student filmmakers, so I feel like if you gear, that, gear your film towards younger people, you'll get a better response to it rather than you know, gearing it towards the older generation. So younger students might find it a bit dull, a bit dry, a bit boring. And also if you're working with and around young filmmakers, that's another really nice way to make connections with people and get other people who are interested and enthusiastic to work with you later in the future. And my film plans. So the first one was one I've been working on for a while, sort of in concept. I think everyone's sort of got that one relative that has lots of stories that you hear again and again and again. Um, and my granddad's got loads of them from his time being in the war, which is kind of cliche, but... And that was an idea that I had and thought you could make it really visually quite nice, but there's so many of those things around already, and it'd be really difficult to put that into a film festival and sort of expect it to get anywhere when it's... It's not topical, it's not juicy, it's just my granddad talking. So I decided upon a different idea when I was going down to Manchester. Um, you see up there about bringing back the ark. Um, I basically, the, the ark was a homeless shelter in Manchester where loads of homeless university students would be able to stay because they couldn't afford accommodation, so on and so forth. Um, I can't quite remember the name of the woman who voted on it, but she vetoed all the other uh, tutors votes to keep the ARC and has knocked it down for student accommodation. <coughs> and there's currently a non-protest sort of occupation of the building site going on when they're built like a shanty town. And I thought it would be really interesting and relatively important to get a film of a 
how what's happening with these people. So you're not just seeing a group of students living in tents by a bonfire, but you're seeing these people and how this decision to knock down their only housing has affected them. And I think this is even more important and poignant with it being a student festival. These are people their age who are going through similar situations in terms of money and housing. And I think it would be really important for the people who are going through it as well to have, and I don't want to try and blow my own trumpet too much, but have something that is tangible that they can say, this is the problem, rather than having people to walk past and have flyers and so on and so forth. So any questions, really, at all? It's good, man. Have you, have, you, have you started? Don't sit down. How, how easy is it going to be to, to get in contact with Art the Ark people? Um, it will require train trips. And I think generally it 